G'day, and thanks for coming to work out with me. So today we're going to be uh, doing some shoulder workouts. So, because I'm still trying to take it easy on my knee that's recovering. So we're going to do a bit of a shoulder workout. We're going to do bare pulses. We're going to do lateral, lateral and front raises. We're going to do some push-ups, shoulder press or a pike if you don't have heavy weights, and bent over raise. Let's get into it. So for the lateral and front raise, I would suggest choosing some really light weights. So I've got some five kilos here, and then I'm just gonna do a seven kilo for the shoulder press, because I haven't worked out in a few weeks. I don't really wanna damage myself too quickly, so I'm just working my muscles back up again. So even though I could do heavier, um, it's just safe not to. I don't really need to spend some time off. First round, we're just gonna do um, is a warm up round, so we'll just take it easy. So let's start with bare pulses. So get down on all fours and don't touch your knees to the ground, but have, have them almost in a right angle. And then we just wanna lower ourselves gently to the ground. And just pretend our back is a tabletop. And you'll feel this in your legs and you'll feel this in your shoulders. These are a favorite from Derolk. He does um, ballistic pulses, which you gotta get some air underneath you and do a little jump, but we won't be doing that today. All right, next we're gonna do some lateral and front raises. So just for a warm up, we'll do without weight. So we go lateral raise, front raise, and then I like to twist my arms so the palms are facing upwards and do upwards again. So side, front, twist around, reverse. Side, front, twist around, reverse. You should be feeling this in your shoulders. We just want to get the blood going to the shoulders. Already a little bit of puffiness, getting puffed. I'm out of condition. See what a few weeks does. All right, starting to burn. So next, we're going to move into push-ups. And if you can't do push-ups, then um, just do it from your knees and just go just a little bit. You don't have to go all the way down. Don't want to hurt yourself. But I can't put any weight on that knee, so I'm just going to hold that knee up. Put your hands out underneath your shoulders. Move your bum down, your back straight. And let's just go down a little bit, very slowly. And as you get warmer, you can dip down lower. Oh, starting to burn. Oh, all right. We're also just warming ourselves up for each one of these exercises. So next is shoulder press and pike. So. Shoulder press, I'm gonna use seven kilos when we get to it. But if you don't have any weight, you can do a pike. So that's stand with your feet wider than your hips. Walk yourself out and just with straight legs, lower your head down to the ground a little bit. You don't have to go all the way and touch the ground. You can just do a little bit. And that's enough and you'll start feeling your shoulders burn. I'll show you from the side. So, bit wider than shoulder, width, straight legs, pivot off your toes. Oh. Oh. That's enough for me. And then next we're gonna do bent over raise. So, I like to do a uh, YTW for warm-ups, and that is, we go Y, T, 
and then W. But we do that bent over. So I'm leaning forwards, straight back. We get Y, T, W. Y, T, W. Y, T, W. Just keep doing that. And try and pull your shoulders back as much as you can gently to get the full range of moment, movement going. <sighs> All right, if we want, we can just do some little shoulder circles. How about you? I've got a little bit of a sweat on just from the warm up. All right, so now we're gonna go into this properly. And I think we'll do two rounds, full on. You can do more if you want. Just skip back and repeat this. So I'll only record one round, but maybe I'll leave in the third, second round. But uh, we'll do two rounds of this with a couple of minutes rest in between. So whenever you're ready, I'm gonna get down from bare pulses. So if you've caught your breath back, let's get into it. And I like to just do to failure. So if you fail before me, then that's okay. Just rest it, rest it until the next exercise. All right, on all fours, ready, let's go. Make sure your knees don't touch the ground, your back is flat, like you're carrying a bottle of water on top, or a cup of coffee. Oh, muscles are starting to burn. I don't know how you're going, but I'm just about done. Oh. Oh. It's a good little burner. All right, give ourselves 20 seconds catch our breath back and we're going to move into front and lateral raises so remember that's out to the side out to the front and then a little reverse one at the end working all the different parts of your shoulders so and we've got our breath back after a few seconds if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. And if you don't have weights, just do this free weight. Or we'll find some water bottles. You can do it with water bottles. Ready, let's go. Side, front, reverse. Side, front, reverse. And you don't need heavy weights for this. Reverse, side, front, okay, and when you're getting towards failure, I'll show you a little flutter that I do at the end, ready, okay, flutter, until your arms completely burn out and they're about to fall off. That's a good one. Uh, put those weights away. Let's have 20 seconds to catch our breath. You don't need much on those ones. Shoulders are quite small muscles all put together. So you don't really need big, big weights for shoulders. Unless you want to build big size, then you can start moving up. Next we're gonna do is push up. We're going to go down to the mat. Once again, go as deep as you want to. I'm going to try and go fairly deep. I'm still going to do it on my knees because I might do a few on my toes. But I haven't done this in about four weeks because of injury. So I just want to take it easy. I don't want to burn myself out. All right, you all ready? 
I'm ready. Okay, let's go. And when you need to, just move into your knees. First round's always hard. You may not be quite warmed up yet. Okay. Get your breath back on that one. Starting to build up a sweat. We're gonna go into a shoulder press or a pike. So, shoulder press if you've got weights. Once again, don't need very heavy weights for this. We wanna start here, go up. I can't go all the way up here because I've got a roof. But if you don't have weights, we will do the pike. So I'll start off with pike and then I'll move to weights. So feet shoulder width apart, legs straight, walk yourself out. You ready? Let's go. Once again, all to failure. I don't bother counting. I always lose count. I just do it to failure. Okay, keep going with those. I'm gonna move to weight. And what you can do is when you're getting a bit weaker to a drop set, drop down to lighter weights and just keep going until your arms fall off. And drop set. I just do no weights. Oh. Ah. My arms are about to fall off. Oh. Let's get our breath back. Sweating a bit now. Hope you're sweating. All right, I'm gonna do some bent over raises. So for the warm ups, we did the YTW. This time, we're just gonna do a T. If you want a W. T, W. This is working the backs of your shoulder muscle, muscles. Okay, ready? And I hate using technical terms, so most people don't understand what all the technical terms are. So I just say backs to the shoulders. Everybody understands that, but let's go. All right, bent over, back straight. T, W, T, W, T, W, T, W. D, W, D, W. Okay, getting close to failure. Uh, push it a bit lower. Uh, oh. You're gonna push till your arm's gonna fall off. It's the only way you get better. Push past that comfort zone. Okay. All right, that's one round. You wanna go two? I think I'm good for two. So we'll have a little bit more of a break in this one, in between rounds. And then we'll move into round two. Sorry if I'm breathing too heavy. This is what happens when you don't exercise regularly and get an injury. So you're better off to uh, not push yourself too hard and get an injury or get too sore, but you don't exercise for the next two or three days. So, probably good to just push to a point where you get a little bit sore. 
So tomorrow I'll do a bit of leg work, just light leg work, give my upper body a rest, and then the following day, 48 hours later, I'll do maybe biceps and triceps, and uh, give the shoulders a bit, bit of a workout, but not too taxing, and then back to shoulders, and then do legs, and then shoulders against me. So that's got to give yourself at least 48 hours in between exercises, but you should still keep exercising. Exercise a different body part. All right, if you're ready, I'm ready for round two. Let's do it. Down for bear pulses. Okay, tabletop position. You know how to do this. Let's go. Always to failure. Tell you what, I'm probably going to be a little bit sore after this. Not quite used to doing this much exercise at the moment. Okay, ah. all right, I'm done. You can keep going if you want, or if you're done, get your breath back. And we're going to move on to lateral and front raises. So 20 seconds here, get your breath back. Beautiful sunny day outside. All right. Take yourself out a little bit. Let's get loose. Let's get loosey goose. All right, get your light weights. When you're ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Side, front, reverse, side, front, reverse, side, front, reverse. With these ones it's important not to go past your shoulder height. Just, if you can only go to here, then that's okay. Better. And nothing. All right, last one, then we're gonna do flutters. Flutters. <sighs> Until your arms fall off. Come on, you can do it. <sighs> oh. Done. Oh, no. Very good. If you want some good shoes to work out in, I recommend Innovate. They are fantastic. I love them. I never thought I needed uh, workout shoes. I still don't. It just feels a bit silly. But to be honest, they've been the greatest shoe that I've ever had for working out. They've got good space for my feet. They've got good ankle support. And they're flat. So you can't go running in them. Can't go jogging or long walks, but what you can do is wear them for working out. Perfect for CrossFit, perfect for everything else. Just don't have that much cushion in this type, but you can buy different types and cushion them for different ways. There's a link down in the description if you want to buy some. I highly recommend them. All right, we're going to go into push-ups. So once again. If you want to go full push up, do that with me and drop to your knees. Okay, ready? Let's go. Oh man. Okay, how'd you go? That one was hard. Okay, let's have 20 seconds. 20 seconds rest again. If you want some water, grab some water. 
this time we're going to do shoulder press and pike. So I'm going to go straight into a uh, shoulder press. But feel free to do the pike. You know how to do it. Okay, ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Almost forgot what I was going to do there for a second. And if you're with me and your arms are giving out, drop down, do a drop set. To a lighter weight, drop set to a lighter weight. You'd be amazed at how little you can do. And there's, there's no weights. No weights, come on. Oh, my arms are burning. Oh, I feel so dorky, but it's so good. All right, last one. Remember these ones? I'm gonna do bent over raise. So, if you don't have weights, just do YTW. That'll be enough to burn your shoulders. But if you do have some weights, let's get some light weights. And we'll do bent over T, W. All right. If you're ready, I'm ready. Come on. Let's work this out. This is how we get fit. Consistently turning up. All right. All right. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. T, W, T, W, T, W. If you can't do a little pause at the top. It's very hard, but it makes a big difference. Sometimes you can't do it. Okay, I'm just do that done. Oh, knees. Ah. Holy moly. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. There's a, I'm gonna do some cool down. I got a cool down video that I do with, I do my cool downs every time afterwards. I do the same thing, all the body. 10 minutes and you're done. So go and have a look for that cool down video. Thank you very much for working out with me. I've enjoyed it. And I hope you have too. Thanks.